Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to San Juan. This morning, Robert went down and got some breakfast. I skipped breakfast, but we are headed downstairs to go on our excursion. I am so sorry. Uh, just in case you're new, I'm Favor. That's my husband, Robert. Hello. Welcome to the channel. We invite you to subscribe. It is free. Okay, we are going downstairs to disembark the ship to go to tour the two forts of San Juan. I will put their names up on the screen because I am not 100%. I know one is St. Cristobal. I don't know what the other ones is. So, yes. But this morning when we pulled in, it was a beautiful morning here in San Juan. And then the Norwegian sky pulled in next to us. Yep. So, very nice, very pretty. So, here's a little footage of that. And, um, yeah, so we will see you downstairs. Yep. You're at that. Bright, beautiful, sunshiny day here in San Juan. Wow. So, yes. So let's go figure out where we are supposed to meet. This is a pretty cool shot right here down the side of the ship. The Norwegian sky is on the other side. My name is Sosa, like Sammy Sosa. This bus is 317. Three? And Patrick's Day. 317. Yeah. We're gonna go to the fort. When we get to the first fort, there's gonna be a guy that's gonna come with us. He's gonna take you inside the fort, explain to you about the fort. Yeah. Oh. The outside of the Capitol building is Malvo from Georgia, USA. Anybody, anybody here from Georgia? And the inside, is Mano from Carrara, Italy. It's a gorgeous and was completed by the late 1700. Excuse me a second. Okay, yeah. 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 Tiny little hole for ventilation back there. And they have for example over there, those were the office of headquarters. So every day, you know, before they start all the activities, they have like a mass over here. And if there, if there was any problem, any attack, they came here to play before, you know.
the big walls. There we go. There she is. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Look at that back there. Okay, you guys, nothing against carnival, but don't take the carnival excursion. Come over here, pay the entry, and come in and take the tour yourself. Taxi or walk down to the next fort. Really, wasn't worth it. it. It's just not really worth it. And half the time you can't hear your tour guide, you're better off just reading the captions on the pictures and the information. Save the money. Save the money, yeah. Alrighty, so we are just now waiting for everyone to finish using the facilities, taking their last minute pictures, and then I believe we are getting on the bus to go down to the next uh, fort. There's a great view of the fort. Oh yeah, that's a good shot right there, babe. I'll take some pictures. Yeah, our bus is going to be waiting for us down there. There are the ships again. Looking good. Ooh, I spy some world famous YouTubers. Wonder who they are. Hmm, we have to go introduce ourselves. Okay, you guys, we just ran into Dave and Brandy. I totally forgot to turn the camera on, but um, please, I'm gonna link their vlog for you. They've basically done the same thing we've done, but an independent tour, um, so with themselves. Uh, so I'm gonna leave all their information down in the description box. You guys go check them out uh, to be able to do exactly what we're doing today for considerably less. Now, if you have mobility issues, you'll want to stick with the carnival excursion, but otherwise, go, go check it out. Look at that. That is gorgeous. The mountains. Wow. Okay, you guys have to take 5,000 pictures. All right, so in order to get into this castle, I uh, know it's gorgeous. Fort, excuse me, not castle, fort. In order to get into this fort, it is a walk uphill here. So, um, if you have a scooter, you got to make sure it's one strong enough really to get up this uh, incline. It's not too terribly inclined, but it is an incline. And the buses are not allowed up here. So the only way up here is if you walk or uh, ride your scooter. So just keep that in mind. When we get here to the top, I will turn around so that you can see the, how far it is to the buses. Yeah, half the time we were on grass. That is something you have to keep in mind also. Robert pointed that out, thank you. Okay, so you see the parking lot over there? That's where our bus is. 
Now you see you can, if you skip the cemetery, you can ride along the side on the street there and come up um, or walk. But you can see it's not a short distance, a uh, quarter of a mile, roughly. So keep that in mind, but wow. If you can make it, what a spectacular view up here. Stunning. Gotta get some pictures. This fort right here is one of the biggest reasons Robert wanted to come back to San Juan because he had not gotten into this fort. We went into the Castilla San Cristobal. We got into there, but we didn't have time to go through this one. So I'm very excited that he gets to come in here. Now they're not as open as they were prior to COVID, but, uh, oh, Mr. Iguana. Hello, buddy. Wow. <laughs> it's a little space made for Robert, not for Faber. So here's the sidewalk where you're able to walk. You can see the fort is back there and our bus is up there. So we are headed back to the bus and then they are dropping us off for some shopping. All right, the bus has dropped us off here. This used to be, oh, I see, okay, yeah. For some shopping. I've always wanted to do the shopping here. That's a good shot right there. Oh my goodness. Oh. Nope. Not gonna happen. All right, we're gonna get some pictures. That looks absolutely amazing. Look at her. Ah, oh, we are on the other side, so we're looking at the gem. Oh, excuse me, the sky, the Norwegian sky. Oh. All righty, back on our deck. I need something to drink. My mouth is super dry. Let's see, did I do it right this time? Yes, I did, woohoo! Here's our little guy, our little elephant today, and a balcony clean. Nice and cool in our cabin, and I'm coming right over here to grab a Pepsi from last week out of the fridge. How do you spend the rest of the afternoon after you've been in hot San Juan all morning and all afternoon? Going to the pool. You get in the pool. I don't know you guys, that's an awful lot of people in this pool. That's, that's borderline people soup. I don't know, but it is a great view. Let's 
do the one close to the right by the pool it's a pool and a hot tub I don't know I don't know what it is where do you want to be babe right here right over here looks good how about this one right here perfect excellent we will bring you your bath towel and a bath tub and bath towel excellent thank you alrighty here we go so here is our area. I'm gonna go get Dave and Brandy, be right back. You guys, they have a great menu and they brought us a whole bunch of fruit and water. more champagne. Oh, it's water. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so good. glad it's water. <laughs> Cause we're like, we got enough champagne, yeah. But look at the view, man. Oh, this is gonna be a great spot for Sail Away. We're gonna have to go get our cameras put them up here in a minute so awesome we brought us some robes look we're so fancy we're pinky up in here <laughs> thank you we'll order food in just a little bit thank you oh hot hot you guys the deck is very warm coming over here to robert Is it hot? No. Okay, good. Y'all? It's not cold at all. It's warm. I just put my phone, it was in my case, and under the water, and it was full of water. That's not good. Well, luckily it's water resistant. It's water resistant, but we'll see. Eek. Okay, so we decided to rent a cabana in the loft. It's $350 for 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. today. And um, why did we do that? You know what? YOLO. We wanted to kind of try it out. Yes, that's very expensive. We probably should have done it last week when we had all that OBC, but whatever. Um, so we're really excited about it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see how long we're here. They're bringing us food. He was able to take my gluten-free order. I'm excited. So let me take you and show you real quick. So there's the pool. You can see it has the infinity infinity so to speak edge on it and there's serenity right there and then here it's thundering oh man um here is the front part of loft 19 now when you rent your cabana then you can use these you cannot just come and rent these particular chairs you have to rent the cabana and then you have access to these and it's not an hourly thing. It's not for two hours. It was from two to eight, and that was what they offered, and it was 350. And uh, well worth it. I think this is awesome. This is very hot on my feet. I'm gonna start running. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. It's hot, 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 hot. All right, and here is our little cabana. So they brought us some bottled water. They do bring you champagne on ice, but you guys know we don't drink. And we have a ton in the cabin already. And then here's the little sitting area. And they brought us some fruit and we did order and they're bringing us gluten-free. And there is the little robes that they're bringing us and we can use these up here. So it's very, very nice, very nice. And um, I've put on the screen the menu for this area. So it's wonderful. This is really nice. So if you've got four, six, eight people, I think it holds six. I think it's made for six people. It's very nice, very comfortable. So there you go, nice and breezy right here. It's really nice. All right, so the pool is not cold and it's not hot. It's like warm. It's, yeah, it's not, it's the right temperature. It's what you want it to be when it's 100 degrees outside. So, and I'm, I'm sorry if it's muffled, I dropped my phone in the water. Yes, I did. I think I just told you that. Gluten free? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Gluten free. Yay. Grilled cheese and a salad. Yay. Mm, yummy. All right. So here it is. That's interesting. All right. Looks pretty good. Grilled cheesy. Yeah. 
All right, here's the other section down here. So we can come across here and go down and go out. I'm gonna go get my GoPro in my phone case because it's about to rain. Might need a cup of coffee. I'm a little cold. <laughs> Shocking. Okay, so now I have my Robert's phone, the GoPro, my phone in a waterproof case, which is gonna make it sound funny, but that's okay. And I am absolutely freezing. So it's time to get back outside and in that pool. You know, it's funny. Some of the best days are unplanned. I come back, perfect timing, and there's little mango ice cream pops. Uh, pops. Yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. Our current situation is we're sitting here waiting. Here's mine and Brandy's GoPro. Vlogger behind the scenes. <laughs> this is what we do. Look at the castle, or excuse me, the fort over there. I know you can't really see it very well. It's so cool looking. So, anyway, we're over here. So, sitting here for sail away. We've got Dave and Brandy over there. Exciting. I love this. We've had a great week so far. Yes, we have. You hear Lele. Look, y'all, she's going to be a cruise director. Real soon. Real soon. She's awesome. Oh my gosh, she's fantastic. I love her. I love her. Yep. All right, well, it's nice to be clean and dry again <laughs> and not sweating. Back to my cold self. So, we are headed down to get me some Take a Wild Guess. Can you guess? Hmm, it's my new BF. Uh oh, we lost Robert. Oh, shoe. gotta tie a shoe. Um, so we're gonna go get a panini. I'm gonna get a panini at uh, the panini shop and Robert is going to get um, a calzone. Right oh, nothing right now, he's not really hungry. Um, and then I'm going to, after my delicious sandwich, dessert is my BF, Bananas Foster from Emeralds, y'all. Seriously, it's so good. And we're only on the ship for like four more days. I gotta have it. All right, so here we are at Piazza Panini. Obviously, that is not gluten free. So we will see what they can do for me. Gluten free. Okay, I ordered the Salumeria, S A L U M E R I A, and it has capicola, prosciutto, salami, provolone, mozzarella, and roasted peppers on focaccia, but it will not be on focaccia for me. It will be on um, whatever gluten-free bread they have. So, that's good. All right, here's my sandwich. I'm gonna cut it in half so you can see it. One second. Look at all of that. Oh my goodness. That looks absolutely delicious. I'm very excited. And I actually had this same bread earlier with a grilled cheese sandwich, and it was much better than the normal carnival bread and it's because it's so nicely toasted, which I appreciate. All right, I'm gonna have some dinner. Okay, that was actually really good. Um, they did that one really well. Um, I have absolutely no complaints about that. So now we are off to get some bananas foster. <laughs> there she is. She is just ready for me. She's so happy that she's going to be consumed by me. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. It's absolutely delicious. All right, so here we are. There's Central St Center Stage. And tonight is Chris Williams' The Flying Scotsman Show. We're gonna take these stairs right on up here to the casino.
probably tell by the fact that I'm in my glasses. The makeup is off. It's time for bed. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, I think Robert could probably hang a little bit longer, but I'm very tired. It's all good. So, got a uh, fun day tomorrow, so go to bed and start tomorrow. It's 10 o'clock, and it's, uh, it's late. So tomorrow we are in Amber Cove, and we have an excursion with... ATVs and beaches. beaches. It's going to be a great day. Um, Dave and Brandy are going to be with us and uh, or we're going to be with them and uh, we're very excited. So um, it was I was, a great day today. Yes I'm, I was originally we had the waterfalls booked and I just you guys I know I've been super adventurous but it was just too much for me. It was stressing me out and I wasn't sleeping and it was really detracting from the cruise so I basically canceled it. So it's all good. Robert We're was have a great time. Very sweet about it. So, all right. So, we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe before you go. It is free. And we will see you in the next one. Good night. Good night. Between the sun and the deep blue sea.